大家好，欢迎收听今天这一期的早安英文。我是卡拉 ，and this is Dylan. Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。So, Kara, let's practice some English sayings, okay? More particularly, the English sayings that don't mean what you think they mean. Cool. Um, can you give me an example? Okay. So the first one I'd like to talk about is no hard feelings. <laughs> We should stress on that word hard. No hard feelings. Eh? Ah, what is that? What does it mean? Uh, it means that you have forgiven someone in the past、uh, for wronging you. 哦、oh, ，就这样吗 ？OK，、yeah. 我来解释啊。No hard feelings， 它的字面意思哦， oh, 不要千万不要觉得说它是没有硬的感觉啊， oh, 吓死我了。呃、uh, ，它的意思其实是类似于没有关系啦。Is it like it doesn't matter or never mind? Uh, yeah, it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like it doesn't matter. Uh, but these two words kind of have a negative connotation, like. Uh, if you ask your wife like what's wrong, what's wrong with her when she's upset, she、mm. might say, "It doesn't matter,"、oh. or "Never mind." <laughs> okay? okay, it can be a positive or a negative、mm. connotation. But there's no hard feelings, no. Yeah, no hard feelings is positive. Okay. Yeah. So,、uh, what about an example? Uh, so an example would be like, uh, if we had a date scheduled and I did not come. Uh, the person who was at the date could be like, "Oh, it's okay. No hard feelings." Oh, 就是不要见怪 Actually, there was hard feelings. Yeah. 嗯，或者呢，再给大家举一个例句 I'm sorry that things ended this way, but no hard feelings, right? 所以呢，它是近似没有关系，但是更准确的说是呃不见怪不计前嫌的意思。很多时候呢会单独拿来用，就直接讲 no hard feelings, right? 那如果说去掉这个 no， 就单独的 hard feelings， 它是不是就是指那种 anger between people because of something that has happened? Hmm. Yeah, the argument caused a lot of hard feelings, but finally we got over it. Would be an example.、Mm, 对，所以 hard feelings 它本身的意思呢，就是那种有隔阂、有芥蒂，因为发生了什么事情。呃、uh, ，所以呢，我们今天要聊的这些短句啊，有三个特点。第一个是常用，第二个呢是看起来很简单，第三个是它真正的意思和看起来的意思不一样。Yeah, Kara, your Chinese really needs some work. What? Get alive, Dylan. Hey, that's another one. <laughs> 对我们想要引出的这个就是 get a life. Do you know what get a life means? Yeah, I just mentioned it. What do you think? Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I think I knew. I I knew you know. 这个短语的意思呢，就是说，呃，它的字面意思啊，看起来就是说得到一个生活。其实呢，它讲的就是说过点真正的日子吧，真正有意义的日子，不要每天搞这种呃无意义啊、鸡毛蒜皮的小事。不要 complaining about my Chinese. Yeah, I'm kidding.、Uh, but it's it's like telling someone to fix themselves or saying that they spend too much time on trivial matters. 或者说呢，你可以 say this to a boring person when you want them to do more exciting things. 比如说，你看到有人星期五的晚上在家里面搞卫生，你就可以说 Don't tell me you're cleaning the house on a Friday night. Get a life. Mm. Mm. Or you guys should just stop moaning and get a life. 对，就是别叽歪了，做点有意义的事情吧。呃，其实讲到这个，我想到，呃，很多年之前啊，陈奕迅有一场演唱会叫做 Get a Life Concert。Do you know Ethan Chen? No. The Chinese singer. No. 好吧，算了。<笑>那我当时呢，就是看了那场演唱会，然后有一首《人来人往》这样的歌，哎呦，当时就被圈了粉。Okay, so tell me what's next on our list. Um, say when. Uh, now tell me what's next. I mean, up next is say when. Oh, I see. <laughs> So,、uh, oh. yeah. So, say when is pretty simple, right? It is just like asking someone when you want to start or when they want to tell you to start. 
对这个短语呢，它其实本来的意思呢，就是讲什么时候好了就说一声，但是更多的时候啊，它很多时候都会被用来就是呃、uh, ，when you're pouring a drink for someone and you want them to tell you when to stop pouring, right? Yeah, that's right. Tell me when I have given you enough of something, usually liquid. 对了，就是在倒东西的时候，尤其是倒饮料、酒水的时候，就是那个人可能会对你讲 say when. 那 just answer with when. Yeah, when that's enough. Okay, 好了。Ah,、uh, okay. Sorry, sometimes I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. I'll say. That's the next one, right? 对，下一个我们要讲的就是 I'll say. Did you notice what I just did there? Oh. 你是加了一个 sharpest tool in the shed. Yeah, I、right? added one myself. Okay, okay. Uh, so when you uh, when we just mentioned two. I'll say and not the sharpest tool in the shed. I'll say means、uh, you're in agreement with someone,、uh, and the other one means that you can be a little stupid at times. 嗯，我先解释一下 I'll say 它的意思。它的意思并不是讲我要，我将要说，而是表示 I agree with that. 对，对。然后呢，其实这让我想到另外两个句子啊，也是同样一个意思。一个是 Tell me about it， 还有一个呢是 You can say that again. Okay, so uh, if we say Tell me about it or You can say that again, they're both referring to something uh that something someone else sa- says that you agree with, right?、Mm. So an example of this would be like, coffee is the greatest drink in the world. Yeah, tell me about it. You can say that again. Yeah, 对，你就可以讲 I strongly, I totally agree. Exactly. Yeah. 对，然后呢，啊，另外一个是这个 someone is not the sharpest tool in the shed， 就是表示某人不聪明。这个呢，其实我们之前讲过一次，就是呃，你其实也并不一定讲某人不是棚里的那个最锋利的工具，你也可以讲其他的，比如说 someone is not the brightest candle on the cake. Yeah, exactly.、Uh, or some someone is not the brightest bulb in the box. 等等等。Yeah, yeah, yeah. 对，总之你就是用这个句型，某人不是，呃，某一个范围内最怎么怎么样的那一个，就这种句型都可以表示某人不聪明。Okay, now where were we? What? Uh, I mean to ask, uh, what were we doing before we got distracted? Oh, 呃，这个呢，就是 where were we？ 他的意思就是讲，呃，就是 they're asking you to remind them what happens next. 对，还有一个类似就是 Where was I? This usually refers to refers to something that's like in front of you, like a piece of paper、mm-hmm. or even a podcast. You could say Where were we? Like in the moment. 嗯，所以就是呃， uh, 在对话里面啊，就经常会用到这两个句子。比如说，我们俩在聊着天，我突然间来了一个电话，然后呢，回来之后我就忘记我们刚刚聊到哪儿了。你就可以讲 Where were we? 这个发音有一点点难。然后呢？呃、uh, ，Where was I？ 它的区别在哪儿？就是如果说你是单方面的一个人在狂讲话，然后呢回来之后你不记得我刚刚说到哪儿了，你就可以讲 Where was I？ Oh, geez, Kara, don't talk talk their ears off. <laughs> That wasn't long, was it? <laughs> no, I just wanted wanted to、uh, add the next phrase in a way that annoys you. Okay. It's my favorite、Annoy、thing to、me. do. Okay.、Yeah. Okay. Trust me, you don't want to do that. You won't like me when I'm angry. You know Whoa!、That? Watch out,、That's、Hulk. That'll be scary. <laughs> <laughs> okay.、Uh, let me explain the two phrases we just mentioned: "Talk your ear off" or "Talk their ear off," and "You don't want to do that." So the first one means you're going to talk to someone so much that their ear will literally、mm. fall off their head. Oh, and we don't put an S at the end of ear. If it's just one person, no. Oh. 就是虽然一个人有两只耳朵， yeah. 但是呢，如果说前面这个 once talk one's ear off， 如果这个 once 是一个单个人的话，这个 ear 是不需要加 s 的。当然，如果说有很多人，这个 ear 就需要加 s 了。And the next one is you don't want to do that. Like it's a warning saying if you do that, there will be consequences. 嗯，这个 you don't want to do that， 你翻译成中文好像听起来挺柔和的，说哎，你不想要做那个事情，但其实它是一个 warning， 就是一个警告。You better not do that. Or it'll be consequences. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> 不然会有后果的。我警告你。Okay, so moving on.、Uh, here's an example. Stay away from Hannah. Hannah. <laughs> he will talk your ear off if he gets the chance. Hannah can be a boy's name. <laughs> Maybe. 意思就是离 Hannah 远一点，不然啊，他会给你念死的。只要他有一有机会，就会对你喋喋不休。Hello. 
Welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。I bet there's a boy named Hannah in this world. Okay. 好，那我们今天节目就到这儿了 ，right? Yeah. Yeah. This is Kara. And this is Dylan. I'll see you guys next time.